Hello everybody and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name is Matt Conniger and I'm building Kit Fox Series 7 STI. Okay, we're going to tighten up and torque the uh, nuts on the adjustable rudder lever. It's supposed to be between 20 and 25 inch pounds and 310. So I'm going to go to about 23. Except I'm missing my washer. So I'm supposed to have two of the 3 16 ID internal diameter by 5 8 outer diameter. 82050 my number. There they are, I got four. So one inside, one outside, a nut, and a cotter pin. All right, let's get you set up so you can see what the heck's going on. I think we're gonna be up here. So can you see the scale? Of course not. Over here, of course not. So let's get you set up so you can see. Maybe. Looks like. You can possibly see that. Hang on. Now let's see if I can see it. It's definitely more fun videoing. Wouldn't be more simpler just not doing it. Especially by yourself. Okay, there's 20. <laughs> Looked like about 22 before I slipped off. We'll just get the wrench on there. A little something shorter, keep it simple. All right. It's about 22 to 24 pounds from my vantage point. So let's go over to the other side.
can't see that. That's handy. Well, let me try this, see if you can see that. I always put the wrench on backwards. Okay, you can't see the numbers, so you're gonna have to trust me. I'm gonna go 20, 22, 24, and about there, 24. Okay. And while I got you over here, I might as well put the cotter key in, which probably won't have access to. Oh, it looks like I do. Which is nice. And we'll cut our key the other side. Try to put some things away and stay organized as I go, which really nasty really fast. You need 14 tools to do one thing, so sometimes things get pretty disorganized very quickly. And you're probably wanting to puke by the time I get this camera set up. Here we are. All right, cutter keys are in on both sides. And I think why I got you here, I will uh, allow you to watch me screw the side panels in again, probably for the 14th time. That'll give me something to take out later as I'll have to put one screw in and probably take this whole panel, panel set out again. It's really good practice putting in these Phillips head screws. It's a wonder why they strip out. Something else I have to put in later too are those Tinnerman nuts that go on the back side of these floorboards. But I hate having loose ends, so I'm gonna put them back in. And I use a screwdriver so I can feel myself stripping them out nicely instead of letting the screw gun do it. This is a lot of fun. I think you'll find it's one of your most enjoyable times putting things together and taking them apart again only to get to put them together and take them apart again. These screws into the aluminum aren't so bad. It's the ones that go down into the floorboard that are pretty much useless. I'll put one of those in. As you can see, it just, just pushed right in. I tried to ream those pieces out in the floorboard so that they would thread in there, but that didn't work worth a hoot. So you could hear that one snap as I went past the last thread. This one will probably do the same thing. Yep, you see it just pushes in. I can sort of snug it up, but I wouldn't trust that it wouldn't fly out had I have a motor on here with some sort of vibrations going. So Tinderman nuts or whatever else you decide to choose are definitely going to be a good idea on these. Through the floorboards, anyway. Into the aluminum, I think you're just fine. Of course, you probably have to be torqued to a certain a specific setting someplace in the book, I'm sure. But I think I'll probably take this off a few more times before I get close to being done. Nothing would be complete without dropping a few screws. Another thing that I like is having a few left over afterwards too. 
that makes you feel good. Then you know you almost did something right. All right, none left over. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and that little tiny bell for notifications when future videos come out. 